class. If this here rocks to y'all, then we laugh. Whatever she said, then I'm mad. If this here rocks to y'all, then we laugh. Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is Major G and uh, so brand brand new, it's not exactly brand new because apparently it came out a week ago, but um, there is a new trailer making the rounds. Uh, it seems that Disney is continuing on with the live action uh, kick. Uh, so we've already had Cinderella. Uh, recently we've had Beauty and the Beast. Uh, what else have we had? I do know that there's a Mulan coming. Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, um, specifically. Um, of course, you've already had some live action characters in uh, in um, Once Upon a Time, which uh, which is through Disney's, which is through one of Disney's subsidiaries, ABC. Um, so they have all the Disney characters. Uh, of the Disney fairy tale characters. And this time, this is one that I did not see coming. Oh, of course, Peter Pan. Yeah, Peter Pan. We've had Peter Pan. Um, but here's one that I was not expecting, uh, which is Christopher Robin. Um, based on some of the screenshots I've seen already, there they are. This is going to be definitely a live action Winnie the Pooh. Um, and. Not like the, what was it? What not like Finding Neverland, which was about the guy who wrote Peter Pan. So it's not going to be about it's not going to be about A. A. Milne. It's going to be, you know, the characters. So uh, yeah, this is going to be called Christopher. Oh yeah, that's right. We had uh, the Huntsman, which was a take on Snow White. I think it was. Um, what was it? Snow White and the Huntsman. I think it was. Something like that. But yeah, that was a take on Snow White. But anyway, yes. Um, so yeah, Christopher Robin. Everybody's raving about it. I haven't seen it yet, but I am curious. So let's go ahead and get on with this. I don't know what to expect from this. So this ought to be pretty interesting for me. All right. So here we go. Christopher Robin trailer. was called an emergency meeting this weekend. I promised my wife and daughter I'd take them away this weekend, sir. We need to cut 20%. You promised these people good jobs. And I thought you'd do anything for this company. Well, have a good time. Okay, so that's that's actually interesting. I did not know what was coming on. Oh my god, the Mary Poppins trailer is out already. Um Huh. Interesting. Was not expecting that either. Um, so yeah, that's actually really cool. Um, I did not know what, I actually didn't know what to expect from this. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a straight up live action Winnie the Pooh based on the, you know, cause they kept showing, uh, all these screenshots kept showing like the, 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 uh, the picture of Pooh. So I was assuming, and you know, when you think Winnie the Pooh, you think of Christopher Robin as a little boy, but, um, so I just assumed it was going to be something like that. But instead, we're getting something like Hook, which is basically a, a sequel to the old Winnie the Pooh 
uh, series, which is great. That's actually really awesome. It, it allows for a lot of creativity there. So that's, that's really cool. So, um, if you guys don't know why I was getting excited about the, the voice, why, uh, why, um, so like back in the, I don't know the exact dates, but it was so, I want to say seventies or eighties. Um, there were, Disney put out a series of Winnie the Pooh movies. And, uh, usually when you get the, when you get the, uh, 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 um, when you see the animated version of like Winnie the Pooh, that's usually what they're referring to. A lot of the animated stuff comes from those old movies, um, which was like Winnie the Pooh and a Honey Tree and Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 and all sorts of Winnie the Pooh, um, movies. And, uh, I used to have, I used to have like two of them. I think I had, I had Tigger two and I had, um, and the honey tree. Um, and so, and Disney made those. So, uh, that was the guy that was the same voice. I'm, I don't know if it's the exact same person, but that is the, ex that, that voice type, like that sounds exactly like the person who used to voice Winnie the Pooh from the old Pooh movies. Um, and I know some of the, some other people are going to go like, yeah, well, what about, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Disney has a lot of Pooh stuff out. So, um, you know, naturally you have, so, I mean, Winnie the Pooh is, just seems to be something that is timeless. Um, and I know the original stories came out in the early 1900s, I want to say. Uh, early 1900s, late 1800s, something like that. Um, and they came from a from A.A. A. Milne's uh, book series, children's book series, Winnie the Pooh. Um, and, uh, but Disney took over it and it's like, Winnie the Pooh was blown up with Disney. Um, I think most recently um, with the, with a lot of the, uh, anytime you see, uh, if you're, if you're an Olympics fan. Um, so one thing you'll notice is like if you're an Olympics fan and you were uh, and you're familiar with the Winter Olympics, uh, this dude right here, Yuzuru Hanyu, who is like the world champion male figure skater, he's from Japan. Um, whenever he gets out and he wins, and he which he always does, he always seems to win. Um, like for the past four years or so, um, like whenever he's out and he's winning and all that stuff. What they'll usually do is uh, they'll start, a lot of the fans will start throwing out, yeah, there's one right there. Uh, they'll start th throwing out uh, not only flowers, but a bunch of Winnie the Pooh stuffed animals. So that's some, that's probably one of the uh, impacts you see. There's a guy right there holding Winnie the Pooh. That's his thing, is that he's, I guess this guy is a real big Winnie the Pooh fan. So, uh, so you see a lot of Pooh stuff with him. And then I think that's probably the most recent thing I've seen with this. Um, but also, uh, after the movies, anim after the animated movies, um, Disney the Disney made a here we go. So after the movies, Disney not only made a. Um, Disney made a live-action kids poo, a live-action kids show called Welcome to Pooh Corner. Um, I remember watching that, actually. Uh, and, but after that, they also had, uh, they also had an actual animated TV show, uh, which was called I think it was just called The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Gotta get up, I gotta get going, I'm gonna see a friend of mine. He's round and he's fuzzy, I love him because he's just Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear. Looking for fun, chasing some honeybees. Pooh Bear, I know he's out there. Rumbly tumbly, climbing a honey tree. But never ends for us, we're so adventurous.
So yeah, uh, they did have, there was an animated series called The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Um, and that was, that was originally a Saturday morning cartoon on ABC. Um, and I, I don't remember anything they've done since that time, which was, that was, I want to say that show came on in the late eighties. Um, and I know somebody, of course, is probably going to be like, no, actually, if you do the word, it comes out of this. I'm working on memory here, okay? So, um, I remember it came on ABC Saturday mornings. No, 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 this was the 90s. Probably 91, somewhere between 91 and 93. So when I think that show came on. Um, but yeah, I remember watching that show. I don't remember exactly what time it came on. I want to say like 9 o'clock on, on the East Coast. Um, but yeah, so Winnie the Pooh is something that's just... Basically, Winnie the Pooh is just something that's kind of timeless. And it's 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 never really gone away. So um, I like that they're not only... With this movie, they're not only... Um, um, uh, uh, potentially introducing the franchise of Winnie the Pooh to, uh, to, uh, uh, newcomers, but also making it friendly to, uh, 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 people who were fans of the old Winnie the Pooh stuff. So, uh, yeah, it looks really interesting. I'm, I, I, I mean, I know there's a lot of reboots coming out right now. Um, there's a lot of reboots and stuff that they're doing. And, I'm only I'm only fine with reboots if they're doing it right. Generally, I kind of prefer personally personally I prefer sequels, just like a straight up sequel. Um, and it doesn't have to be like with the original or no no not necessarily sequel. I prefer either a sequel or a spinoff. There we go, where it takes place in the original world and then it's just continuing on with the story. So. Um, this is exactly what that is. This was that's what uh, that's what Hook was. That's what Jumanji was, um, and it doesn't necessarily always have to have the same characters, or the same characters can be a much much older as long as it's something new and fresh. So yeah, I'm definitely interested in this. It looks really cool. Um, but yeah, what did you guys think? Um, how how did you feel about it? Did you like it? Did you you know are you ex excited for it? Have you heard of Winnie the? Are you familiar with Winnie the Pooh? Um, you know, uh, yeah. So you know, just mention that in the comments. Uh, and until next time, be excellent to one another and party on, dudes. All right, Thanksgiving. Oh, there's Grand Central again. Wi-Fi! Internet? <laughs>